when a patient attends for their smear, um, the nurse will go through some questions with the patient and will have a conversation with you. Um, we will then ask for you um, to uh, pop onto the couch, like uh, the one behind me, um, to, we'll ask you to take any items of clothing off from the waist down and we will cover you up. Some patients do prefer to wear long skirts. Um, so that you can keep those on, you can keep nice and covered. But we will also, obviously, uh, if you have any mobility issues whatsoever, we can accommodate that. So please don't worry about that. Um, we will then pass a small speculum into your vagina um, and we open that up ever so slightly uh, and use a very soft brush um, just to brush on your cervix. We just twizzle that on the cervix. The purpose of the brush is to gather this, um, the cells from the cervix uh, it looks a bit hideous, but actually really, really soft. Um, much, much softer than a toothbrush. And that will just capture some cells from the cervix. And there is a variety of sizes and lengths of speculum, depending on the lady, depending on if it's her first smear, for example. Um, we might choose a smaller speculum to begin with, and then we can go on to a bigger speculum if we need. So the speculum is inserted into the vagina, usually popped in at a slight angle. Um, we pop it in, and as, we, as it enters the vagina, we turn it straight, make sure that the patient is nice and comfortable, and then we can open the speculum ever so slightly like that. So once the speculum is opened, we can visualise the cervix at the other end, uh, and we pop the brush through the speculum and we just rotate it gently onto, on the cervix and that brush will grab those cells off the cervix and then it's done. We can shut the speculum and remove it. Mm -hmm.